Hello, I am here to do my shiny collection because shiny was the one who won last week's poll. I will put up this week's poll right here so you can vote. The five top requests of last video's comments are put up there. So for every collection video that is. And then you can vote for those for next week's collection. So the top request for this week will go in the next week's poll. Yes, I hope that made it clear and not too complicated. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started right away. Yes, so I'm going to start with their Korean albums and then their Japanese ones, followed by solos, groups and whatnot. So groups and whatnot. Mm. Alright, so first we have their first mini album. Ta -da! Yes, and then their, let's see, this is the... Mm, Type B of their first full-length studio album, Shiny World. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I have their first album repackage, Amigo. And then the Japanese edition of their... So, I should probably show those at the same time. But yeah, the Japanese edition of their Korean album. So, this is the one released in Japan, but it includes the same songs as this one, and they're all in Korean. So it's just a licensing, licensing thing. Mm. And then I have their second mini album, Romeo. And since you got a random member, I got Damien for this one, which I'm really happy about. Uh, uh. And then I have both the Korean and the Taiwan edition of 2009 Year of Us. Mm. And then we have the second album, Lucifer. Here I have Japanese and the Korean edition. So again, this is just a licensing thing. Um, all the songs are in Korean. This includes both CD and DVD. This only includes CD. And then we have the Type B version of Lucifer. That was the Type A, this one. For the Japanese edition, I should say, there is only this. So there is no A and B. And then we have Hello, which is the repackage. Mm. And then I have their first concert CD, or there's three CDs actually, two CDs I mean. <coughs> two CDs. <laughs> Shiny World, yes. Ooh, see that? Hope it's in focus. And then I have Sherlock. And I do believe this one I got Hyun's version. Mm -hmm. And then I have, ooh, let's see here. So first I have Dream Girl, Misconceptions of You. Then I have Misconceptions of Me. Which, by the way, is one of my favorite Chinese albums. But Nightmare, Why So Serious, Evil among many others. So just, this is a solid album, seriously. This, this is one of my absolute favorite Chinese albums. And this one, The Misconceptions of Us, I do believe it's called. Yeah, Misconceptions of Us, which includes both Me and You, plus some extra songs and an extra photo book. Mm -hmm. Then everybody... Uh, mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> The one where they thought it was a good idea to have clowns everywhere. Odd. Mm? Yeah, that, that's exactly what it was. Odd. <laughs> and Married to the Music, which is the repackage. This one, this is the Type A version. Oh, this is the repackage. Mm. Then we have Chinese 101, where I have both the CD and the cassette version. Which I still find really cool. Oh. I'm really happy that I bought this one too. It's just going back in time to my childhood when you would record, you know, from the radio and whatnot on your little cassette. <laughs> oh. And then they, when they grew, got too old, the, the music sounded really odd. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one and one. Yes, the repackage. Mm. 
And then Japanese releases. Ah, so first I have replay. So you can see, let's see, this is the do you believe limited CD plus DVD and then CD plus DVD limited. I have unboxed everything you see here, so if you want to know more about the editions, you can just check out my unboxing, my shiny. I'll put that in the eye over there as well. My shiny unboxings, yes, everything here is in there if you want to take a closer look. Side note, yes. <laughs> and then I have Juliet. And then Lucifer. And then the first, which was their first studio album in Japan. So fitting. And then we have Sherlock, Japanese edition. But this is, of course, Japanese songs, not Korean. No, these are all Japanese songs. So it's not just a license. Yep, you get it. Mm. And then we have Dazzling Girl, two editions, both the normal and this one, the limited one. And then this A Thousand Years, ooh, I don't remember the English title, A Thousand Years by, by Your Side, or something like that. Yeah, but I hope I have that was correctly, that was A Thousand Years or something. Yes. Um, and then I got Fire. Is that in focus? I hope so. Mm. And then Boys Meet You, the album. And then I have the Boys Meet You single as well. And then 321, which I still believe is such an awesome song. Mm. I really love that song. And then we got Lucky Star. And I'm your boy. They've released quite a lot in Japan, I must say. And two editions of your number. Sing your song. And let's see how you pronounce this. D X D X D or just D D D? I don't know. But this. <laughs> and Winter Wonderland. Ooh. Then we have arrived at the end. Yeah. So we got solos and stuff and stuff. <laughs> solos and such. Emin's Ace. And then press it with my favorite cover. <laughs> and then his Japanese single. First, no, first mini album. Mm. And then second Korean album move. And then I did put this here, Two Heart, which is, well, it's not a subgroup of Shiny, but it still includes key, so I wanted to. Mm. Yes. All right, so that was it. Don't forget to request for next week's poll and vote for this week's poll. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.